They are the kings of Friday night. Violent and fierce for 48 minutes. As they fight for the town of Southington. Back on a first down. They're going to run. Don't make the motion. He's going to keep it going. He's going to keep it going. He's going to keep it going. Receivers to the right. Mollahan takes a snap, fakes, he's going, keeps his own number, and he is in the end zone! Touchdown, Mogcats! Bringing your football, this is the Chalker 11 with your host, Noah Ricks. Good morning, Chalker. Welcome to the first installment of the Chalker 11. Throughout the next 10 weeks, we'll be here talking over Chalker football in the news around the program. Every weekend, we will go over the highlights from the previous game and discuss how it went. The Wildcats are a new team under rookie high school coach Tom Conrad, and they will look to shock not only the area, but the entire state in 2017. They began their new era on the road this Friday night against a tough competitor in the Jackson Milton Blue Jays. Their goal was to fight hard against those Blue Jays and demand respect from those naysayers. We will take you down to North Jackson in Mahoney County where the Cats hope to snap their three game losing streak to the Jays. During the last three years, they have been outscored by a combined score of 102 to nothing. They wanted to put an end to that embarrassing figure on Friday. Now, first quarter action, junior quarterback Tristan Monahan will lift the change with this third down completion to Jay Sherwood. They hook up for 13. Now, here comes a little bit of orange crust defense as the D-line wrapped up Jimmy Harper, only a tiny pickup next defense possession, third and 12, Chase Tass Hyder, applying the heat, bringing the quarterback and forcing an incompletion. Now, fourth down, Milton runs a big punt, but Joey Myers comes in and makes the stop for a turnover on downs. And Taz will get the run game going on offense with a 12-yard skipper in Blue Jay territory, but the Cats come up empty on that drive. But four defense coming at you with freshman Lake Nicholas working with sophomore Aiden Ricks for the takedown. We now go into the second no score Sherwood with a tiptoe reception on second and long to help the Cats out on that drive. We fast forward with the Blue Jays up 13 and upping Ricks breaks with the offensive line this is the kicker's face for a missed extra point. Now this is the right time to call fake punt on fourth and three. Senior Michael Backup takes the snap with the students for eight yards and a first down. Now how about his punting skills as well? He gets a tremendous boot into this ball with the friendly bounce for a 44 yard net. The ball is down at the 18 yard line. Still in the second, Taz again showing his effort as he fights through a block block Blue Jays for a positive outcome. Now on to the second half, kicker Ryan Johnson will hammer the ball. It looked to go out of bounds, but fielded by Milton. This will be 35 yards given up on this return. But Johnson will come in at the right time for the touchdown saving tackle. We go back to the defense. Ricks slows the runner down, and sophomore Dalton Keeley finishes for the loss. Now Jacob Baker with this option keeper, and he will zip for his first down on his way. And Baker on offensive possession layer with the nimble feet for 12 yards on this play. And Ricks once again providing the spotlight now for senior Logan Rhodes as he will wrap up the ball here for very little yards. And what better to finish off? Refrigerator Perry. Rhodes on this fullback run for a first down. And the Cats come out of North Jackson without a win. They were shut out by the Blue Jays for the four straight year by a final score of 34 to nothing. It was basically a tail two hat. They were only down 13 heading into the locker room, but ran out of gas in the second half, giving up three touchdowns for the final outcome. Tristan Monahan struggled throughout the course of the evening as he only completed three passes on 19 attempts for a total of 31 yards and three interceptions. All of the picks came in the first half, with one being returned to the house. Jacob Baker piled up 41 yards on 11 carries to lead the team in rushing. On defense, Isher played no-nonsense football as he picked up nine tackles, along with Kobe Cerrito, who cashed in 10. Cerrito is a freshman on the rise. The Cats have now lost their last four opening week games and have now booted up Jackson Milton scoring on the team to 136 to nothing since 2014. The new era under Tom Conrad did not start the way he wanted it to. They have been working all summer to knock down the Blue Jays, but now they will have to look back on their second half collapse and wonder how it all went down. They are showing promise to be truly on the rise with their gritty first half defense. Big stops early. 
kept them in the game for the first two quarters, but fatigue wore them down in the final two. The quarterback play was the main low light of the night as Tristan Mollahan was scared in the pocket and forced his passes into dangerous coverage. His three picks also set the course of the game. They will now have to learn how to finish and fight through adversity. It was only one game. They will have nine more to go on a difficult yet possible journey to prove the critics wrong. No matter what anybody says about them, they will fight together as a team and care about no one but the teammates and the coaches around them. He may have started his career with a loss, but Coach Conrad knows that just one game does not matter. He has the full and utmost potential to help them work on the things that need fixed. As he said in two days, they will continue to build on it every day, practice, scrimmage, and game in order to get better. He has all the confidence in the world that his team will fight back next week as they continue to come out of the bottom and learn what it takes to become a successful winning program. Now, I will try to get an interview with Coach Conrad and talk to him about the game. If there is, it will be on YouTube at Luigi Super Show. Full game stats will be available on ChockerHighSchoolSportsHistory.Weebly.com. Also, check out the site for facts, rosters, and more. Don't go to this yet, though, because on Friday, the Cats will stay on the road as they travel down to Sebring to take on the McKinley Trojans in their traditional Week 2 rivalry. The team will definitely come out angry as they look to avenge their 29-14 loss to the Trojans out Wildcat Acres last year. Everybody is encouraged to come out and support your Wildcats and cheer them on to victory. Opening kickoff is at 7. We got you covered from CWN Sports. Have a great day, everybody. We are Chocolate.